First year Bondi lifeguard Jules has been flagged down by a member of the public. I'm not sure how he was body surfing, but yeah, he kind of just said he hit the sand and it popped. We were just body surfing. Uh, we came out to celebrate. We just got a new job today. Um, and yeah, a pretty big wave came over. And next thing I know, he was screaming my name. The first thing he was most worried about was the cost of an ambulance or the cost of hospital treatment. Yeah, often backpackers are more concerned about their wallet than their health. As well as causing discomfort in the back pocket, dislocations are also physically very painful. Ah, shit! When the screaming starts, lifeguards know exactly what to do. So breathe right in. I need you to breathe it in. You're getting the green whistle as we speak. The green whistle contains methoxyfluorine gas. In seconds, it can turn agonising pain into euphoric pleasure. Yeah. Oh. You got no pain down here at all. This is honestly the best thing I've ever had. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Today, it's Pete's turn to undergo one of Bondi's most infamous journeys. They call it the green whistle. Have you seen it before? No. Good uh, trip. Oh, it's good stuff. <laughs> yeah. You're just puffing it for a while. Just pulling it. Just have a couple of pulls. And so begins Pete's journey to a happy place. I can most likely relocate it here for you. We need to give you some more gas and stuff like that. Pete's shoulder can only be relocated if his muscles are relaxed. And that means lots of green whistle. Yeah. In free mouth, out free nose. Just try and relax as much as you can. Just let it go floppy. Keep breathing this. See what you did. See what they for AK rifle, someone died. Band on deep like the speed rope there. <laughs> oh. Man, man, I love Australia. You, you, Can you, you just, come? what you need to do is you need to just try and relax. I think he was quite interested in, uh, in escaping reality maybe for a bit, just to get rid of that pain. Just tell me, when are you gonna do it? Give me the four, three, two, one, and then slap me in the face really and I'll respect like it. Don't really do it like that anymore. <laughs> The green whistle is meant to relax Pete's muscles. Right now, the only thing being relaxed is his head. As his shoulder refuses to budge, lifeguards recommend a second dose of the green whistle. Do you ever think, does he need another tone? He does. And then just relax that left shoulder if you can. Just relax it. Just relax. Hold it in, hold it in. Deep breaths. And just worry about your posture and your... The paramedic was trying all he could to get him to calm that shoulder down, but he just couldn't do it. What's he doing? Is he not relaxing yet? It's pretty, he's pretty tight. Yeah, in right. His arms. Yeah. Even after two yeah, doses Peter. of the legendary right. green whistle, Pete's shoulder won't budge. Not looking like we're going to make it today, Pete. Had a good go. Okay, I can't sit here and attempt to reduce it all day. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to organise a transport up to the hospital. In the end, for Peter, it was a worst case scenario. The ambulance officer couldn't get his shoulder back into place and he was off the hospital. What's your pain out of 10 at the moment? Uh, 10, I'd say 7 to 8. 7 to 8, okay. 7.7. 77%. But no, he's done well. Champion. Straight off to the insane asylum. Well done, mate. Thank you. Well done. Cheers for your help, guys.